Welcome to the Succulent Home. Today I'm going to be potting up this girl right here. I got this at a nursery just a day ago. Um, I'm excited because it's a pretty full succulent. Um, the name slips my mind right now and there is no label. If you want to hit that comment section and let me know. Here's a close look. So beautiful and it looks so resilient. Now I have one pup, two pup, three pup, four pup, five pup, and one more right underneath here. Well, this is a perfect pot. I had a plant in here and it totally died. It was like, it's gone, sayonara. <laughs> I gave my rest in peace little spill to it. Um, there's nothing wrong with this soil. It wasn't anything that I did in particular that would um, cause it to die, other than I just ignored it, you guys. I ignored it. And I don't know if some of you are like that when it comes around the holidays. Sometimes the things that even you love the most, you kind of find yourself neglecting. Hey, we do that a lot with our plants, and we can also do that in general with people friends, work. So I'm not going to beat myself up about it. Um, I'll try doing that plant some other time. But for now, this is a perfect pot. It has a drainage hole. It has a little drainage like plate right here that catches the water. I love the natural color of this. Um, some of you might have seen this pot when I potted um, a house plant actually is what I potted in here. And, um, but you might have seen this pot before. I got this actually from Goodwill. It was at a good price. And if you're wanting to go on a Goodwill hunt for some pots, just remember that even if they don't have a drainage, like this one per se, see how there's a hole? Um, it's okay. You can make a hole. So, if... I don't know the name of this beautiful thing right here. Again, hit that hit that comment section like you guys normally do and kind of let your girl know what it is because it would really help me. Before I pot it, I'm going to go ahead and take out any, de de um, what is it, debris? Um, anything that is dead leaves, anything that would cause like a root rot as I water this going forward so you're going to want to do that you always want to do that when you get a new succulent or you get it from somewhere even lows you're also going to want to inspect it from any bugs milly bugs scales anything that might um, cause havoc in your succulent garden you're going to want to inspect and get rid of and treat with some kind of um, solution that will make it the process easier. Also cleaning up all this debris will help your arrangement look a lot more clean and healthy, really beautiful. So a lot of us are collectors as well as we love, you know, making arrangements and potting beautiful, you know, gardens. We also collect. And when you are a collector, you don't always want to make an arrangement. Like today, I don't want to make an arrangement with this. A couple of leaves fell off. I'm going to go ahead and save that. Um, I'm actually going to put it in the pot. I don't want this to sit too low, but I don't want it to be too high to where the roots aren't covered. I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit more of this soil out. So this soil that it's in looks really healthy. It's not soaked, but it does feel moist. And I'm going to go ahead and just kind of twist this in like so, trying to get it as deep as I can in there. Okay. Let's see. I think I might need to 
take a little bit more just a little bit more out it's okay because we can add around it after we put it in there a little bit down because to these leggy pups that have came out of the mom um, I want them to be able to have some kind of support you know so that's one, another reason why I'm trying to set it low but not too low so when you are a collector and you're trying to build your collection because as you build your collection you're building the ability to propagate and make more when you make more succulents you're able to go from your own inventory and create your own arrangements and actually you end up saving more money in the long run when you do that and you end up being someone like let's say Emily from the succulent greenhouse who is able now to sometimes have so much that she can sell them, sell them online or sell them. I think she sells them over Instagram sometimes. So that's a nice thing. So that's what my goal is. My goal is to continue to build upon my collection of succulents as well as continue my passion for tapestry, planting in ground succulents and cacti and potting arrangements if you guys didn't know my favorite is tapestry in ground design I, it really is out of everything that that's probably the the one that really like excites me about the before and after process and even during so I'm not going to add any other succulents. If I was making this into a nice cute arrangement, I would stuff it. I would put so many different ones in here. But for the simple fact that I want this to grow big and long and I want this to become a statement piece, then I think I'm better off um, just leaving it like this I'm just covering up the roots making sure all the roots are covered so you can see how they're supported the ones that are leggy supported by the rim of the pot. This one too, that's the back side of this one. You can go ahead and see how it's kind of resting right there. That's how it looks on this angle. Don't want to mess with it too much. I'm going to say this is the back. I'm going to make this the back. But this is the side right here, another side, but this is pretty much going to be the front right there. So um, I'm not, I don't know, I had top dressing on the other one, but I feel like, should I? Yeah, why don't we just put some top dressing? I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go get some turf. to put turfus I'm going to put turfus just for a design aesthetics that's the whole reason why I even wanted to finally purchase some turfus because it took like because they don't sell turfus in your stores guys unless you have like a specialty store of some kind um, this was convenient because I ordered it from Amazon and it came to the front door now the one thing that I like about using turfus as a top dressing, as well as a bonsai topping, bonsai tree um, top dressing, is they don't hold in the moisture. 
At least that's what I've been learning. Uh, unlike aquarium rocks, can get moldy. So, when you're working with turfus and making arrangements, if you haven't used turfus, it does help with that factor. And again, when you're watering, you're going to want to be light with the pressure of water just so that way the rocks don't or the turfus doesn't overflow from the water. You know. Now, when I'm choosing to water, what I'm going to do is trying to be gentle. What I'm going to do is, and what I do, I try to stick close to inside by the root when I water. So I'm not going to just water it with a whole bunch of water coming out. These turfus rocks are going to just float up. It's going to ruin. The soil is going to come up. You have to have a light hand and water towards the middle of where that rooting system is. So that is my fast, easy, but very productive potting for you. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you were able to learn some tips and hopefully you can apply them to your own succulent garden. Don't forget to DM me on um, Instagram or Facebook. Um, I am active on Instagram a lot every single day. Facebook, um, I know that I go on there and I try to check everything weekly um so go check me out the succulent home let me know and send me pictures of your beautiful babies so that you and i can both be inspiring to each other until the next video you guys god bless bye